Hi everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. Today, I need your opinion on something. Check this out. Which method of dimension would you prefer? Would it be A, which is, I'm going to show you now. Or would it be B, which would be uh, if your answer is A, and if your answer is B, <laughs> you know what to do already. Hit the like button. Let's do this. Alright guys, so here we are back in AutoCAD architecture. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do something very interesting, something that I think will be of great benefit to my audience, especially for those of you who are currently adding dimensions to your drawing. All right. Before we dive into the video, I want to welcome those of you who are joining for the first time. I hope that you get some awesome value from the channel. And if you do, just, you know, you know what to do already. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell because you don't know you don't want to miss any other video because we drop some serious videos over here. And for those of you returning, as usual, big up yourself. I want to say a shout out to my patrons over on my Patreon page. Guys, go over there and download the stuff on the site. All right. So thank you all. And let's get into it. All right. So as you can see here, I have a, a nice little guard house. And this one I actually copied from my previous videos. For those of you who watched those videos in the past. Now I'm going to say if you didn't watch those videos, guys, you need to go back and watch them. Dimensions explained. Um, I did go into quite a bit of details and that would provide an awesome baseline for you to get into this video. All right. Let me, get, let me put this in um, x-ray probably. Yeah. Nice little guard house with a bathroom on it. And as you can see, you know. I have all them fridge and the microwave, like a telephone, nice little, you know, restroom there. And so everything that you're seeing in this drawing was modeled using the tools in AutoCAD. And that's very important, guys, because when we go to use the, 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 the dimension style to get those dimensions, it's going to matter. These are considered AEC objects and the AEC stands for architectural engineering and construction. I think that's what it means. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the description. And so if I should go to annotate, no, let's go to home and you go to your annotate and you click on the dimension drop down. You see the first four dimension styles at the top here are saying AEC dimensions. And so these can only be used when you have AEC objects. All right. And guess what, guys, this make life so much easier. All right. Not only when you draw in AEC object styles, you get elevation view right away. You can get your sectional views right away. But also AutoCAD have provided some awesome tools here that we can use to grab dimensions by just one click. All right. And so let me put this back in 2D wireframe. Now, guys, remember now, when you complete your drawing, the first thing before you add any form of text is to set your scale. So that's always the first thing. I am setting this to 1 in 50. That's the regular scale for a floor plan. Because this is such a small building, I'm actually going to make it 1 in 25. All right. So you set the scale that you want it. And then um, you go ahead and we're going to start to add some dimension. And usually, most of us, we would tend to use the linear dimension. So let's say, for instance, we're going to be measuring from this wall to this window. We pull it up. And then what we would do is to continue off of that. No, sorry. I didn't mean to hit that. Continue. And we're going to say, all right, to the edge of that window and then to the edge of this wall. Not so? 
right so that's one chain so far and then what we would do next is to put another chain on top of this one and we would continue and then you go like that so as you can see the second chain captures the walls the first chain would have captured openings such as windows and door and then the third one would give us the overall distance not so mm. and so what we would do is to repeat this all around the building now can you imagine you have a huge building to do and you have to do all of that going around that building i've been there guys now with this new tool or it's not new really it has been there all along but we haven't been using it now with this tool we can just click on the wall and get the dimension all right so i'm going to actually delete this and i'm going to go up to my dimensions here i have gone through using aec dimensions this top one so if you want to know how we use this i again recommend that you go and watch those videos i did on dimensions explained they're on the channel i'll drop them in the description all right today we're going to focus on the exterior dimensions and i think once you understand these two you will be able to manipulate the interior one as well um so we have two different exterior ones here the first one is the only i mean the difference between them uh is that for the first chain as you can see in that little illustration there the first chain at the bottom measures to the middle of the openings can you see that cool the second one measures to the edge of the opening that's basically the only difference between the two but in jamaica we usually measure to the edge of the opening so we're going to be using this one in other countries i know the standards might be a little different or how you guys pr produce your drawings you might want to measure to the center of the opening to the center of the wall that kind of thing we always measure to the edge of everything all right so we're going to click on that one and let's see how it works it says down here select objects so we're going to select this wall and we're going to hit enter and we're going to pull it out once you pull it out like this you want to decide okay how far from the building do i want to place my dimension i'm going to place it just about here maybe and just like that it gives me three chains if we should observe is everything right with these and the answer is no um so far we the first chain is giving us everything we need it gives us the opening and it gives us everything to that the last chain at the top the third one gives us the overall which is good but the middle one is not capturing our walls and so this is where we can actually go in the settings and set it up exactly fine tune it exactly how we want it all right guys um also another thing to notice here is that these are so far apart we don't want the offset to be that far and that is something we can also adjust in the settings all right so what we're going to do is to click on this dimension and we're going to go to edit style okay you can also right click and go down here where it says edit dimension style click on that it brings you to this box here where we can rename it um, sometimes i would uh, copy style so what this does is to create a brand new style and i would rename it to something um, different just to preserve the original one just in case i need to go back to that one um, but for in this case i'm just gonna you know sometimes in some projects you might need multiple styles you get what i'm saying um, you might need one for your foundation separate from uh from your floor plan you might need one that captures roof elements blah 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 you can create as many as you would like but we're going to just modify this one here so we're going to just go directly to edit style it brings you here and what we're going to do is to go over to display properties and over here is where we're going to modify some stuff so click on this little box right here and then from here we're going to go over to content all right now this is where it you can see that we have three chains and all three of them are checked if you only wanted one chain then of course you would uncheck the ones that you don't need and you would leave the one that you need checked there's i mean x this off and go back to chains here you can also control how many chains you want over here so in this instance it is at a three digit there means that we're gonna have three chains 
if you want four five six seven chains it's up to you man add as many as you'd like minus as many as you'd like in this case again i said a three we want so this is the thing there all right so here we are back in display properties and so what we can do basically is to go through each chain and change the settings so for each chain you can change the settings of what you want it to report all right so for chain number one it is working pretty good i don't want to change anything in it but basically you can go through walls what on the wall do you want it to read uh do you want it to read openings currently it is reading the max width of an opening you can tell it to read the minimum width if you want it to um, you can tell it to read the center of the opening if you want it to and it gives you some diagrams over here in this case we only want it to read the maximum width of an, of an opening and you can go through each of these uh, um, elements over here and decide what do you want this first chain to read or to report all right let's go to the third one we're going to leave this the middle one for last since that's the one we're going to make changes to this last one only need the full length of the wall and if you notice if you go through these when we go to wall it is set to report the overall distance if we should click on any other of these you notice that nothing is checked all right keep going nothing is checked all right except for grid and i'm going to shut that off line work nothing is checked nothing is checked because all we need this one to do is to read the overall distance of the wall all right guys now for the second one which is the one that should be reading walls the width of the walls it's not doing it so this is the one that we need to make some changes to so of course i'm going to go to walls up here and i'm going to say okay i needed to read that i needed to read that but i also needed to look something like this see that so i'm going to select that wall intersections so where the walls are intersecting with each other i would love for this second chain to pull those out all right and i'm going to also change which one of them this one here to be all components so i want the, it to read the wall width measuring from all components no matter what style walls and of course for the rest of these i don't care about these all i care about is the wall i mean you could turn these off if you don't want these dimension to report those elements all right and that's it guys that is it the last thing we want to edit is in this tab over here where we are now able to choose a dimension style so in this case we're going to use the default dimension style and we can now change the distance between each chain so currently it is at 914 which is roughly about three feet away from each other and that's just too far we're going to make it 300 which is about one foot away and then we're going to just hit okay and then we're going to hit okay and just like that guys look at that we have everything we need we have the width of the walls being reported we have the overall distance and we have the opening being reported and so guess what once you do one that's all you need because all i need to do now is click on this one and i'm gonna say add selected which means basically repeat click on that and i'm just gonna select a wall and hit enter drag it out and click and just like that i have my next wall done and i'm going to do the same thing again click on this wall hit enter drag it out and click and just like that guys i have everything i need on there and i'm going to do the same blasted thing again boom drag it out and click now i'm going to turn this thing off because it's bothering me get rid of that all right good so now you can see how easy it is once you set it up guys and guess what if i need to move the whole thing up some more i can just drag the whole thing and move it up i can drag the whole thing and move it back down guess what if i come to decide now all right you know what this window is a little bit too big let me make it 600 millimeters wow look at that the dimension move with the object if i decide okay you know what um 
I'm going to move this door. Let me see. I'm going to move this door back to the edge of that wall. Let's move this door back to the edge of that wall. Look at that. The dimension moves with the door. And so, guys, this is awesome. This makes life so much easier. And you can do the same thing when it comes to interior dimensions, all right? Because, of course, we're going to need to put an interior one to show uh, the position of this door. So that's the secret of that. The other thing also is that it creates a layer for you. All right, so you don't have to worry about creating a layer. You get your own layer. And the same thing occurs when you create objects using the AEC tools. You get me? So if you use these tools over here, you get a layer for everything. You don't have to worry about, oh, let me create layers. No, you don't need to create nothing. Just draw, okay? And set your scale when you're ready to do these things. See what I say? All right. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. I hope that you learned something. And if you do, you don't know what to do already, hit the like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that bell. Don't miss a beat. And I want to say a big shout out to my patrons on my Patreon page. This drawing will be available over there to be downloaded if you want it. So definitely check the links in the description if you're interested in that. Again, thank you for joining. I hope that you learned something. See you guys in the next video. Zane, cool. Mm.